Welcome to Spice Candies. Today I will show you how to make ginger candies. This ginger candy is fast and easy to make and you can adjust the amount of ginger to fit the taster's tongue. Hence you can make these candies wild and hot or nice and civilized. We will start as usual with one third cup or 70 grams of white granulated sugar, one ninth or one eighth cup of corn syrup, and an equal volume of water and three grams or one teaspoon of powdered ginger. Sadly fresh ginger has too much water in it so we cannot use it. We have to use dry powdered ginger. This ginger powder is available in supermarkets and spice shops. These candies will be mild and gentle. For hot candies simply double the amount and use five grams or two teaspoons of powdered ginger. We will start by adding the sugar, corn syrup, and an equal amount of water. Mix up. And we'll give it a good stir. Make sure the mix is homogeneous. And turn my smallest burner on the hottest flame. On. We'll have to wait till the candy reaches 150 degrees Celsius or 300 degrees Fahrenheit. As the candy first starts to boil, we reach roughly 110 degrees Celsius, 112.9, as my thermometer says, 235 degrees Fahrenheit. We are reaching now 130 degrees Celsius, and it's getting slightly viscous. Bubbles are more reluctant to burst. And you could feel it. According to my thermometer, it is now at 134 degrees Celsius or 273 degrees Fahrenheit. Once you reach the 130 degrees Celsius temperature, make sure you watch the candy all the time. We have now reached the 150 degrees Celsius temperature. I'm shutting off the flame and adding the ginger. Make sure to thoroughly mix the ginger into your candy. Now that it, was, it has settled, and the bubbles are decreasing, we are ready for our candy. Now that we're ready to pour, I hope you've prepared your parchment paper in advance. Go ahead and pour. Give it one last stir and pour it. Onto your parchment paper or greased uh, glass sheet or whatever you have. You could use a greased uh, plate using just butter or um, preferably a non-flavored oil like canola. And we're ready. And now we're ready to cut. Marking lines in the candy. These will be fairly large candies. And it's a little bit too hot. The candies lines are merging. We'll just give it a few more seconds.
and I think it's ready and we'll just let it cool for a minute or two I hope you enjoyed it it's been a lot of fun for me too and uh, check my website please the full recipe is free and available there and if you do make these candies please write a line I do enjoy it if you have any questions feel free to ask have a nice day